So now we're going to apply the principle of virtual work to calculate the vertical displacement at point B. And that means we're repeating steps 3, 4, and 5. And 3 is to apply the external virtual unit load. Point B was at mid-span, so I am going to apply a virtual unit load at the location where I want to know the displacement. And I'm going to apply the virtual unit load downwards. Now what I want to do is figure out the virtual moment diagram, which again involves a free body diagram, reactions, and then drawing the shear and moment diagrams. I want to draw my free body diagram here, so I'm going to have reaction vertical and horizontal. And because if I use some of the forces in the horizontal, I'll find that AX prime is zero. If I look at this structure now, the loading and the boundary conditions are symmetric. So I know that this will be 0.5 kilonewtons. And CY prime will be 0.5 kilonewtons. And my shear diagram is just going to go up 0.5 kilonewtons all the way across to the concentrated force, then down 1 kilonewton which will get me to negative 0.5 and then straight across. My moment diagram, because my shears are constant, my moment diagram is linear and so I will have a positive linear uh, moment diagram increasing at a rate of 0.5 kilonewton meter per meter and then decreasing at a rate of 0.5 kilonewton meter per meter. So it's essentially a triangle. And this value here, this value is would be the area of this portion of the shear diagram. And if you recall, this distance here was 6 meters. So 0.5 times 6 meters is 3 kilonewton meters. And that would make this value 3 kilonewton meters. And now that I have my virtual moment diagram, I, ha I calculated my real curvature diagram earlier. So this last part is to apply the principle of virtual work and integrate. And here because I'm applying a unit, a virtual unit force, I have my formulation is one kilonewton times the displacement or the magnitude of displacement at point B equal to the integral of the entire length of the beam of the virtual moment diagram times the real curvature dx. I'm going to go ahead and use charts or the product integration product tables to solve this out. And what I like to do is draw out what my moment diagrams look like in a very small scale. So my virtual moment diagram is this triangle where this value is 3 kilonewton meter and this base is 12 meters. And my real moment diagram or my real curvature diagram is a parabolic function where this value here was 90 kilonewton meter over EI, this distance was 12 meters here, dx. So now what I'll do is use or go to my product integration table charts. I am using Gali and Neville's structural analysis book. And if you look there, what you will find is the following. This product of a triangle and a par parabola or parabolic function is equal to a, b, L over 3, 1 plus alpha beta. So this is the integral or the product integral result of, of these two geometric shapes. So if I compare what I'm trying to solve for in this problem versus what's available in my product integration tables, I see that I have almost a one-to-one -one match, except this triangle here is halfway in between the length. So here, this distance is 6 meters. So that just tells me that in this case alpha and beta are equal to 0 0.5. So when I go ahead and I try to solve this out, I'll have 1 kilonewton times delta B is equal to ABL over 3. And in this case, A would be 90 kilonewton meter over EI times B, which is 3 kilonewton meters times the length of 12 meters all divided by 3 times 1 plus 0.5 times 0.5. And if I work this out, this will tell me, obviously these units will cancel out with one of the kilonewtons there, but I'll get delta B is equal to positive 1,350 over EI kilonewton meter cubed. And the positive just indicates that that direction, I applied the unit virtual force, is in the same direction as the displacement of point B downwards. 
But according to my VX coordinate system at the very beginning that we established here, point B moving downwards would be a negative displacement of my of point B according to the VX coordinate system. So in terms of the VX coordinate system, my displacement or the value of my elastic curve at 6 meters or at midspan is equal to negative 1350 over EI kilonewton meter cubed. And either of these answers are again valid depending on how the question is framed. Alright, so hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. See ya.